it's been eight months since President Obama signed the $787 billion stimulus bill with the promise it would create or save three million jobs. Today, the White House put out a report card claiming stimulus spending has so far directly created or saved 640,329 jobs. Chip Reed is at the White House tonight. And Chip, the administration is claiming success on the jobs front, but critics are saying not so fast. That's right, Katie. Critics are saying, how can anybody claim success when unemployment is almost 10 percent? But today, Vice President Joe Biden said without the stimulus, it would be even higher. And the hundreds of thousands of men and women are receiving a paycheck now that they would not have otherwise been receiving at this moment. Early counts of stimulus jobs have been filled with hundreds of errors. Even the vice president admits in a government program this big and complicated, there's no such thing as and perfection. We know. we know that it's not 100 percent accurate. But he says but this time it's close. The of the 640,000 jobs allegedly saved or created, a majority, 325,000, are in education, 80,000 in construction. <laughs> For companies that get stimulus money, it's a double-edged sword. American Infrastructure Company in Maryland used it to rehire 60 laid-off employees, but the company is deeply worried about life after the stimulus. A lot of the jobs that were a part of the stimulus were one-term and one-year jobs, so it was one season of work. That could mean more layoffs if the economy hasn't recovered. Economist Mark Zandi says the fact that the stimulus is temporary could turn it from a blessing to a curse, as stimulus spending skyrockets, then plummets, throwing cold water on the economy. The stimulus is very positive, adding a lot to growth. That's what's happening right now. By this time next year, uh, it turns into a drag. On Capitol Hill, outraged Republicans say if you get out your calculators, you'll be angry too. Those 640,000 jobs, the White House says it took $160 billion to pay for them. That comes to about $250,000 a job. The White House says Republicans are engaging in calculator abuse, insisting that by the end of next year, the amount per job will be $92,000, which Republicans say is still way too high. Some government watchdogs say forget the calculators. Getting an accurate job count is impossible. It leads to the sense that there's something precise about this. And the bottom line is we have no idea how many jobs would have been created without the stimulus. The White House insists the stimulus is on track, just as the president predicted, to create more than three million jobs by the end of next year. Critics say that is nothing more than wishful thinking. Katie? Chip Reed reporting from the White House tonight. Chip, thank you.